That's Hebrews, the 11th chapter, the 1st through the 12th verse. Yes, by faith, ladies and gentlemen, that's what the challenge is about. The challenge is the message of hope. It's by faith, and I hope and I trust that we share with you about this message of a just third way. It's by faith what God would have intended for you to hear at this appointed time. Uh, there is no reason uh, for citizens to be so powerless. But if you feel economically insecure or powerless, you're not alone. The fact is you are economically vulnerable if you don't own your private property, some of the land and technology that produce most of our wealth. Economic power is tied closely to political power. It comes from property, ladies and gentlemen, the rights and powers of ownership and the means to acquire property. Today's 21st century global economy, the most significant forms of property are in advanced technologies and corporate equity. George Mason knew it. That's why he said, he said, all men by nature, equally free and independent, have certain inherent rights, which they cannot, by any compact, deprive or divest their posterity, namely the enjoyment of life, liberty, with the means of acquiring and possessing property and pursuing and obtaining happiness and safety. That's George Mason, the father of the American Bill of Rights. In Article I of the Virginia Declaration of Rights, adopted in June 12th of 1776. They knew it. They knew it. With the means of acquiring and possessing property. Uh, not life, liberty, and the, just the pursuit of happiness. How are you going to have the happiness that you hope to have in a land uh, where, uh, you know, the, the property and the property rights belong to others. Yes, property and property rights are very necessary, very essential uh, for all of us uh, to enjoy what is before us, uh, to have the quality of life uh, that was intended for all of us. There's a need for some ownership, and that's why we come to you. Uh, we want to show you how. Uh, we want you to be a part of it, a part of ushering in uh, this new way of life. Go to CESJ.org when you have a chance. CESJ.org. The information's out there. It's on the website. Investigate for yourself. Uh, take a look at it. I realize that it's a time-consuming process, but it's certainly well worth your while. Promise of participation. The 99 percenters. Uh, those people who are looking for solutions and answers to the problem. There is one. There is truly an answer to the problems. Uh, the problems that we're facing uh, being left out uh, of the process, of being ignored, of being just a statistic, being a wage slave, a debt slave, or a credit slave. That's what we're experiencing now. Uh, most of us are living from paycheck to paycheck, living off of credit cards, uh, living off the welfare of the state. Promise of participation. It is very, very disconcerting to me uh, when I think about how many people uh, do not participate in the political process. Uh, when I think about the lack of confidence that people have in the system, people uh, are not participating in this democracy that we have. And there must be a reason for it, the, the lack of confidence, uh, the lack of, of hope, the despair, you know, with regards to the system. Oh, I know education is an issue. Uh, I know that there are many things that people simply don't understand. There are a lot of things that people just have not been exposed to. There are a number of ways to approach it. But I believe that some of this is deliberate, and some of it is intentional. Uh, the deception is deliberate and intentional. I think there are those who are okay with people being disenfranchised, uh, with people not participating uh, in the process. There seems to be 
real concern about a lot of what takes place in the country, but nobody is really addressing uh, those issues. We, ha- we have to pay particular attention to uh, the problems that we're facing because nobody else is. We, that's what we try to do here uh, on the challenge. We try to give voice to those concerns. We know that there are a lot of folks who are simply being left out because the, the model <laughs> that they're using deals with the apathy that exists. Uh, we realize that a lot of what's being done is done with the realization that there are a number of people uh, who simply just won't get it, uh, who simply don't care, who, who simply don't think that whatever happens will have that much of an impact upon them. And they are sorely mistaken, sorely mistaken. Everybody, everyone uh, should be participating in this process. Everyone should be participating in this democracy. And when it doesn't, it falls short of living up to uh, the promise and living up to what it's intended to be. Promise of participation. And I'm telling you, that's why they're self-perpetuating. That's why the 1% continues to control uh, much and almost all of what takes place for the other uh, 99% of us. Uh, That's why we've come up with uh, the Just Third Way. Uh, The Just Third Way is about giving all of us uh, the opportunity to participate in this democracy. It's about giving us all the opportunity and all access Uh, to the tools uh, that are necessary for us to participate in this democracy. And how does every citizen gain? Uh, Every citizen gains because there is capital income and economic power. Today, uh, you know, many people, even the poor, can buy uh, on consumer credit, you know, items such as cars and TV sets and clothing at home. However, these purchases are not income-earning property. Uh, We need those kinds of things that will produce income for us. That's why it is so important for us to use our money uh, to purchase things that will produce income for us. Promise of participation. The Federal Reserve, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, has to be paid uh, more attention to. We have to give more time and attention to Uh, the matters uh, that take place uh, at the Federal Reserve. After all, (laughs) it belongs to us as American citizens, and that has to change. That must change. We we are really having a problem with getting this country to be the place that it should be because there are so many of the people in this country who aren't having and does not have a chance to participate in this economy uh, the way that it should. Promise of participation. You're you're on the air, caller. Russell Guy Stevenson here. Oh, God, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, Good to hear from you. I hope you and the family are well. Uh, We apologize if that was you who called earlier for not getting to you soon. I would, and I'm sorry I'm I'm late for program, but I do want to participate. Lord (laughs) Lord knows I want to participate. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Absolutely. And we, Russell, and we before want I get to. started, I just want to give a blessed thank you and greetings to all your WKND 1480 radio listeners, and also to Chris and all the staff that helps advance these critical and important issues. Thank you and so I much. I wish them all a blessed new year. Thank you so much, Guy. We, we really appreciate you and uh, all you do to uh, continue to support the show and to uh, to make the show what it is, your contribution, guy, is is, is oh, I can't even I can't even give words to it. It's, well, you know, let's it's, let's it's, get right into it, Russell, because 2012 is coming. Right, and it's, and it's already here. Right, we got an economic justice summit coming up here in Connecticut in, in 2012, January 14 at the Bushnell. Uh, we're putting on an economic justice summit. What a great format to advance the principles of economic justice, Russell. And Godspeed to bring that to everybody's conscience. Last time I was on the program, we talked about the three P's, property and the connection to person, 
and how that they all combine with an element of power. Uh-huh. Uh, the fourth P, and you've already mentioned it, highlighted throughout your program today, is that when you think in the spiritual realm of those three c- concepts, the promise. That's right. There was a promise. That's right. And it was made to every single human being. That's right. And that promise is void without the principles of participation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when, when you articulate, and people, again, can go to the website and they can look up what are the principles of participation. That's right. And how do you describe that? It's the active investment that people make in the input, the input of economic and political process. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And and how they can make a living, how we live in a social society. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'd encourage people to look at that fourth P, that promise and the active principle of participation. Well said, well said. E- that's economic justice, participation, uh, distribution, and we there has to be some kind of, of measuring and viewing the results of that participation and the distribution. I mean. That's economic justice. When we talk about participation, everybody uh, should be participating. Everyone uh, can make a contribution. Everyone. And and everybody should be a part of the distribution. That's right. In in our human condition, we all come to that forum of of society, and we, we cry out for the favor of the sovereign ear. We cry out for those people that have the power and the authority to hear us, let our voice be heard. Mm -hmm. And if the people, if the people would just start to resonate that the same theme for 2012, we can change and transform the whole world. That's right. And that world, that world needs to hear that we, the people are not to be owned. That's right. We are to own. That is exactly Own or be owned. That is right. And when, when I describe the word own, I'm not thinking of some corporate or some Wall Street diatribe about stock certificates and and working and manipulating my fellow man. We're talking about ownership in the truest form means to be good, good, Hmm. good stewards. I'm going to repeat this. Ownership in the truest form means to be good stewards. There you go. There you go. Well said. Well said. So this is, the, this is the season. If there's a voice that can resonate across this country and across the globe, it's own or be owned. Help pass capital homesteading now. Pass capital homesteading now. I, I hope and pray in this new year, in this political season, the people tell it in the streets. They say that in the public square. They say it to their pastors. They capital say to, Homestead Act. Pass that, the Capital Homestead Act. Pass it now. Pass the yeah. Capital Homestead Act now. Pass, pass it now. Pass the Capital pass Homestead the Act now. Pass it in the bur- boroughs, yeah. in the yeah. villages, in yeah. the metropolitan yeah. areas. Pass Capital Homesteading pass now. Pass Capital Homesteading now. That is the message. That is the message of hope in this season, guy. Pass the Capital Homestead Act now. Give everybody access. Give right. everybody access. And then, and then we can fulfill the mission of civilization itself where property and person are inevitably connected with power and the promise of participation. Amen. Well said. Well said. Uh, I, can't, I can't say it any better than that. I wish you would say it again for our listeners. Help pass capital homesteading now. And then we can fulfill the mission of civilization itself where property and person are inevitably connected with power and the promise of participation. The the promise, you know, is the promise that we've been we've been given. Uh, yeah. You know, we we must, guy. We we've got to say it for those who can't say it. Uh, you know, we are going to give voice to it. Pass the Capital Homestead Act now. Pass the Capital Homestead Act now. We will say it over and over again. It is. It is a modern version of Lincoln's Homestead Act, where everybody has a piece of land, you know, a piece of property that produces income for you. There would be no need for the welfare system. There would be no need. If you have something 
that generates income for yourself, there would be no need for the Medicare's and the Medicaid's. Oh, certainly, you know, those are systems that we would have to rely on temporarily, but let our abilities, let our abilities to choose and select through professionals those things that will produce income for us, provide us with the subsistence that we need uh, to live. That world needs to hear that we the people are not to be owned. That's right. We are to own. That is exactly Own right. or be owned. That is right. Some people say a bank is made out of blood. Such from a worker sinking deep in the mud. Deep in the mud under a mountain of debt. Well, wealth concentrating in the top 1%. You owe 16 bills. And what do you get? Another day poorer and deeper in debt. The Fed bailed out Wall Street, I can't get a loan. The simple truth is it's own or be owned. Went to work on Monday and what did I see? A big pink slip awaiting for me. My boss got a bonus and I'm getting boned. There's one thing I know, it's own or be owned. You owe 16 bills, and what do you get? Another day poorer and deeper in debt. The Fed bail out Wall Street, we can't get along. The 99% know it's own or be owned. Wealth gap's getting wider and I'm getting lean. My job's gone to China or to a machine. My kids got no health care, we're losing our home. Say it out loud, it's own or be owned. You owe 16 bills, what do you get? Another day poorer and deeper in debt. The Fed bailed out Wall Street, we can't get along. If you're madder than hell, shout own or be owned. The tax man keeps coming, I can't pay the rent. Uncle Sam is no smarter, we both overspent. My cash flow is shrinking and I'm not alone. With the wrong kind of credit, we're gonna be on you old 16 bills. What do you get? Another day poorer and deeper in debt. Make us interest free money and a capital loan. Wake up politicians, it's time that we own. Another day poorer and deeper in debt. That's right. For 2012, we can change and transform the whole world. You owe 16 bills. What do you get? That world needs to hear that we the people are not to be owned. We are to own. That's right. Help pass capital homesteading now. You owe 16 bills. What do you get? Another day poorer and deeper in debt. Demand interest free credit and a capital loan. Tell the politicians it's time that we own. That's right. Pass the Capital Homestead Act now. Give everybody access. That is the message. That is the message of hope. 